is Tina Dillard with Quilting Affection Designs and welcome to the beginning of the April Showers Mystery Quilt. Today we'll be making the umbrella blocks. I'll be showing you how to make the umbrella units using the Studio 180 Design Sliver Technique which features the corner beam tool that's used in this mystery. Make sure you download the pattern for week one which includes the fabric instructions and the Studio 1A design tools that you will need to complete this quilt. So let's get started. We're gonna make the umbrella unit one first. We're gonna need five and a half inch squares of the following, light red, a dark red, and a light blue for your background. You're going to, again, these are five and a half inch squares. Please see your pattern for fabric requirements. Now we're going to make, out of these squares, half square triangles. You're going to need two light blue and light red, and two the dark red and light blue. So we're going to start this out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to mark the back of our fabric we're going to find the diagonal line and mark a quarter of an inch from the center on both sides of that center line. And I'm going to be using the magic wand, which automatically finds our quarter of an inch from that center point and this center point. You're going to mark a line here and you're going to mark a line here. Now this is going to be on the reverse side of your fabric. Then you're going to take your dark red square, line it up, and you're going to take your to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch on these diagonal lines that you just um, made. So when you come back from the sewing machine, you're going to have a unit that looks like this and you're going to go ahead now take your long ruler and you're going to cut down the center now you have <clears throat> two half square triangles and now with these half square triangles, you're going to press them away from the dark for these, these units. You want to make sure you press to the light blue and all of these units. Now you're going to need to make one more set of the dark red and then you're going to follow up with making the light red also. We're going to go ahead and cut these apart too. And you're going to take these and press them. You're going to press these the same way and you're going to press towards the, the light blue. So when we come back, I'll have these pressed and we'll begin with the making the sliver unit. Now we've returned and we finished our half square triangles. Remember, do not trim at this point. You're going to need remember a reminder that you need to have four of the light red and light blue and four of the dark red with light blue and you press them towards the light side. So now let's go ahead and talk about and make and finish our making our units into a sliver unit for the umbrella. We're going to add is another piece to our half square triangle that's going to be the light color. So the sliver technique that I'll be using comes from the Studio 180 Design technique sheet and uses the corner beam tool. And I'll be discussing what p uh, parts of the ruler you'll be needing at each step. So let's begin with the cutting of our side triangles. For the sliver um, piece here, you're going to need the following five inch strips 
of fabric, a light red and a dark red. We're going to go ahead and you're also going to need the corner bean ruler. We're going to go ahead and concentrate on with these pieces here, the side triangle trim number one line, which is our solid line here. And we're going to go ahead and move the dark red out of the way and we're going to line up our ruler on the fabric, ensuring our four inch unit um, size line here is, is says the cut strips and squares of number five, four or five inch are right here. And you've lined up your edge of your strip right here on this solid line. So now we are going to make our first cut. Now, if you have you'll sh if you have the ruler, you're going to have your instructions. If you're right-handed, you're going to be doing it a little bit different from the left-handed. I'm left-handed, so I'll be doing it left-handed. Please refer to that instructions booklet that comes with your ruler uh, for your cutting. So for this one, again, we're using the side trim number one line, and we're using the four-inch finished unit line. So we're going to go ahead and cut our first unit out. You're going to need a total of four. So we have cut one. Now for your second piece, we're going to flip our ruler around. And you'll notice that we have a second trim solid line here. And we have a line here that says um, seam line placement. We're going to use this line and we're going to line it up on our fabric here to where it's nice and crisp along that seam line placement line. And the tip of our ruler, so it says second trim, is going to line up on the edge of our strip here. So let's we'll go ahead and line that up. You want to make sure everything lines up perfectly. We've, we've done that, so now we'll do our cut. And then you're going to repeat back and forth until you have four. So you'll go back to your solid line and your four placement, do your cut, then return to, the, to your trim line here and do your next cut. So we'll do this again with our dark red fabric. You're going to do the same thing is you're going to line up your ruler and do your cut. And now you're going to flip it around. You're going to just flip it 90 degrees and line everything up. You're going to do it. You're going to four, make four of these also and trim. So now we are ready to start um, cutting out our half square triangle for our left side. So when we return, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll get that started for the left side slant. Let's begin the units for the left, the slant left first. What we're going to be doing is we've got our unit lined up like we do with this one here. We're going to be cutting off this dark piece here, but we want our slant to go to the left side. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove a piece so that we can place this unit on here. So we're going to go ahead and use our corner beam ruler to do this. We're going to actually be using the center beam trim line number one 
to do this. So, and we want to concentrate on our four and a half unfinished line, and we're going to cut to our on this line here. So, what we're going to do is take that dashed line for that center beam trim and line it up. And your four inch finish line line here is going to line up with our half square triangle. Now you want to position this for when you're cut, you're going to be the way you'll be cutting. So now that we have everything lined up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to trim. And it's okay to have a little bit of a gap here that will be covered up when we sew on our or side pieces. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've removed that. And we don't need this piece anymore. So we'll put we'll just move to the side. Now we're going to take our light red and we're going to lay it down on top of our dark red and you want to make sure that you line everything up you have a straight nice edge here and you have a piece that's a little bit tipped here that's fine if it's hanging over and you'll hang and the rest of this will hang over also so what you're going to do is take this to your sewing machine you're going to start at this end and so a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way up. Now you want to make sure you have a good quarter of an inch seam allowance when you do this. So when we return I will have this one complete and you'll be doing this for three more times to get all of these units done. So when we return I'll have this done and we'll show you how to press them and we'll work from there. So we've got we've completed our sliver unit sewn on our half square triangle here. You'll notice that we have a nice quarter of an inch seam allowance, and I've pressed it to the light red. And you'll be wondering, and you'll be wondering if it's right or wrong, but if it doesn't match up down here or here, that is okay. We want this is all oversized and we're going to be trimming this to size now. So we're going to use our corner beam ruler again and we're going to I'm going to point out a couple lines on this ruler we'll be using. We're going to be starting with this line here this line placement line and you'll be also noticing there's an X at the very tip between the two these two major seam line placements. We want to align our tip of our unit here in with that X where that meets. And you also want to pay attention to these little V arrows. These are going to be for our sliver unit and we're going to be lining the, this line here on one side and this will be our other placement line. So I'm going to turn this around for my ease of cutting, and I'm going to lay this down on our unit. And I have laid the X and the point. We have a nice solid line here with our seam placement line, and our arrows are lining up exactly on that line here. We may have to do make a little adjustment, but I don't think it's going to matter. Oops, no, my ruler slipped just a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut from bottom to top to top to across. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now we're going to go ahead and pick up our ruler. And we're going to rotate our unit 180 degrees. So now our point, our nice clean edge, 
is pointing towards us. Now we're going to place this again on our unit. We're going to concentrate on the four and a half inch line here. This is the size of unit we need. So I'm going to line everything up. We have everything in, lined up. Now our X is going to be right on the edge of our seam allowance. And our lines here are lining up with our seam. So make sure everything lines up directly. And you'll notice the, these lines here won't line up there and there also. So we're going to go ahead and cut up and across. This is how you make one of your sides of your, um, your umbrella unit. This will be the slant for the left side. So now we can concentrate on the right side, which is done just a little bit different, but it's the same technique. So when we return, we'll be doing that side. So now we're going to make our right side slants units. You're going to need your lighter blue light blue and light red um, half square triangle and you're also going to need your dark red slant piece that we have cut out already so from this unit here we're going to cut a different way and you'll notice in this finished piece here that we're going to cut away from this light red side right here on this side so we want the slant to go towards the right. So let's go ahead and cut that. So for this time, it's going to be very difficult to cut this way. So what I suggest is flipping it over and we're going to use the corner beam trim line again with just the dashed line and we're going to line up our ruler on top of that piece. And you're going to again line it up on the four inch line. Now that you've got that cut, you want to make sure you're cutting from the right side, the right area, and you're going to go ahead and cut that off. So the only difference between the right and the left is the way you, which side you cut from. So <clears throat> we have cut that open. Now we can go ahead and sew on our side piece. It's the same technique. You're just going to flip this over. Make sure your, your slants line up together and your tips down here is slightly over. And you're going to go ahead and when you have everything lined up, take it to your sewing machine and do a good quarter of an inch seam allowance. Go ahead and stitch down there. And then you're going to press again towards the dark. You're going to repeat this four times for these units. So when we come back I will have this all pressed and we'll get started with the next. So now I've completed the unit here. We've gone ahead and sewn the quarter of an inch seam allowance and I've pressed towards the red. Again, these units are oversized, so don't worry about it if they don't match up. We're going to go ahead and start cutting first. Next. So, I'm going to place my unit the way I need it for cutting. Refer, or again, refer to your instructions for your ruler that came with your ruler to do this. So, what we're going to concentrate on for this side is lining up that middle X there and we're going to be using these arrows for our first cut. So it's going to be just the opposite of what we did with the lefts for this cut. So I'm going to place this on. 
and then I'm going to angle this ruler around so our line placements match up. You make sure you got to make sure that you're lining these up as you go. So our first lines are matched up. Oops. And it may take you a few minutes to get everything lined up, so don't worry about that. And go ahead and do your first cut. Remember, you're going to go up and over. Up and over. Then you're going to pick up your ruler, rotate your unit 190. 180 degrees and you're going to lay down again on the four and a half inch line with your nice crisp line that you just cut and you're going to line up your arrows right down that center again and we're going to go ahead and Cut up and over. We've completed our left and right slants. So remember, you're going to need three of these with the light blue, dark, and then light red. With the this is the left side. And then you're going to repeat, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to do th four of these with a light blue, light red, and dark red. So now I'm going to show you how to make the umbrella with the handle that goes with this row here. So let's, when we come back, let's get started.